The world is always in motion and there's one productivity app that has accepted it as their motto. In this motion review, I'm going to ensure to cover everything the motion app can do for you. Is this platform capable of handling all the time and task management you and I both need in 2025? Well, let's check it out. There's one important thing to know here. This is a motion AI review. The platform in question is heavily AI powered, so expect they cover more than just the casual planning. Motion is famous for its tracking, task management, and time optimization, plus the AI meeting notes, collaborative document editing, and such. This review is gonna cover all of them. After all, Motion promised that its AI will analyze my workload and schedule tasks automatically, and it'll also reschedule them dynamically if my plans change. And this does great to free my time and reduce stress. So if that's what you want for Motion, try it out through this QR code or the link in the description. The app even has a seven day free trial that doesn't cost you a penny to try if you are curious. So next up on the Motion Productivity app review, which features does it offer? The most important part of it, of course, is Motion Task Management. Any productivity tool needs this, and Motion is no exception. I can add tasks, set deadlines, track progress, the usual process other apps like ClickUp or Acaflow also do. The nice part is extended visual customization. I don't have to keep everything in a list. Kanban boards or Gantt charts are also available if you find them easier to work with. Naturally, any productivity tool needs calendar integration. And while using Motion, I noticed a double-sided compatibility. All my calendars were synced with it. No double booking or missed meetings, since any changes in Motion are immediately reflected on other connected platforms as well. Talking about meetings, this is where the AI part of Motion starts to make a difference. AI-powered scheduling does well in suggesting meeting times and outlining duration of tasks and deadlines. Any missed tasks can be rescheduled automatically, although I prefer to do it manually. Continuing with the AI-powered features, one I found extremely useful is the AI Note-Taker. This feature is a great addition to any meeting. It understands speech quite well and even points out key moments in generated summaries. It's pretty nice for an AI tool. Similarly enough, AI Docs Assistant also does well analyzing written text, especially if you're creating them collaboratively with other people. That said, while AI can extract tasks from simple notes I make, I still found manual approach a bit more convenient. A few minor downsides I noticed while using Motion is that time tracking is only available for team and enterprise plans. So if you want to time yourself as a single user, you will have to use a different app, which is far from convenient. If you're a freelancer, for example, there aren't many features for easier collaboration with clients either. For instance, I can't directly share project progress with another person. So it's another notable downside. I also heard that some motion users would prefer the platform to go even heavier on AI and auto structuring. But to be honest, Motion is already one of the best productivity apps with AI integration that I've tried. It does a job well and it looks nice in the process. Being primarily a web-based app, Motion is designed to be quite easy to use. So let's cover ease of use next in this Motion app review. While I primarily use Motion on Google Chrome, it can be used on any browser. And there are standalone apps for Windows, Mac OS, iOS, or Android. The main difference between them all is in the appearance. All apps support the same syncing options and share all the features. If you're planning to integrate different apps into the Motion productivity tool, it's more than possible. It natively supports dozens of apps from the basics such as Google Calendar, Outlook, or Zoom, to business apps like ClickUp, Trello, or Dropbox. That said, some of the apps like the last three have to be integrated manually through an open source motion API or a third party tool like Zapier. However, I would be lying if I said I noticed any significant desyncs or slowdowns even with this method. All things considered, Motion is not a very complicated app. Sure, it has a bit of a learning curve, but if you use a productivity app before, Motion is unlikely to phase you. Otherwise, getting used to the vast variety of customization choices and settings may be a bit of a chore at first, especially if you aim to use AI-powered features. 
For example, while the AI scheduling is powerful, you will need to do the initial setup and potentially fine tune the feature to suit your needs. Any prior experience with AI based tools will make the understanding of motion much simpler, but it's hardly mandatory thanks to the many customer support options. And before I cover all of the support Motion can provide, you have an opportunity to support me. If you like the video so far, make it known. You can also subscribe to get notified about new reviews. I also plan to create a tutorial for Motion, so if that's something that you feel you need to have, leave a comment below. A tutorial might be needed for this part, as Motion is not that focused on providing in-depth assistance. Don't get me wrong, a help center with many articles, FAQs, and tutorials is not bad. The in-app support and email support are also standard, but when competitors like Akaflow include personalized one-on-one -on -one onboarding as part of their service, I just end up wishing Motion would offer more. The only additional thing I can have is priority support, which is hidden behind the enterprise plan. Talking about plans, there are three of those in total, the individual plan, team plan, and enterprise. Personally, I have the most experience with the individual plan. It's the best for solo users. The plan includes all of the core productivity features and the AI focus elements as well. However, it does not offer time tracking or team collaboration features. You will have to get the team plan for those. Keep in mind that it's designed for small to medium sized teams, including all the features from the individual plans, plus shared team tasks, collaborative project management, time tracking, shared dashboards, and admin control. Solid functionality, but clearly not aimed at big companies. That's where the enterprise plan comes into play. This plan is made to satisfy custom needs, offering a lot of customization on top of the same set of features Teams already has. And most importantly, all enterprise members have access to a dedicated customer success manager, making the integration much easier. For each of those plans, you can choose between monthly and annual billing. The only difference is the price. Longer commitment is significantly more affordable. On top of getting a longer plan, you can also save money by first trying Motion out through a seven day free trial. If you wanna start right now, just check the link in the description for directions. So is Motion worth using? Well, in my experience, it's one of the best productivity tools that seamlessly combines classic management options and some fresh AI implementation without relying too much on LLMs too much. And any tool that has a reasonable approach towards productivity will reduce your stress significantly. It just makes sense to try. Besides, it's quite hard to find a productivity tool like Motion. It offers a lot of integrations like time tracking, AI assistance for document management and note taking, and dynamic schedule and task suggestions. I suggest you try Motion out and let me know about your experience in the comment section below. I'll be coming back with another review very soon, so stay tuned and stress-free. See you.